So there's a lot of debate about whether deadlifts are good or bad. And I don't like to categorize an exercise as good or bad. For the most part, I would say it depends on your goal. If you're training to be a bodybuilder, I would say definitely there are more effective exercises. You know, any type of exercise where you're locked in and able to isolate a specific muscle is going to be better for your hypertrophy goals of being a bodybuilder, getting on stage. If you're uh, an athlete, I would say there's a place for deadlifts uh, because a lot of the deadlift is about working the whole body as one and that is, that is useful for athletics. I would also say though that there is probably a point where the deadlift for an athlete becomes a little bit detrimental because a lot of sports are predicated on lifting things quickly. You know, it's more about the power rather than the strength. So if you're going through a deadlift and it's taking you four seconds to lift the bar to a locked out position, you're probably more training your, you know, your slow twitch muscles, you're, you're, you're creating a denser muscle, but you might not be actually transferring that skill over to the field or the ice or the court or whatever sport you play. So I'd say there, there's a place for deadlifts in athletic training, but again, there's likely a point where the effectiveness is actually hindering, uh, or the, the deadlift is actually hindering your performance. Um, if you're somebody like me, who trains to be able to move and feel strong in everyday life, I'd say there's very few exercises that are better than the deadlift because there's very few motions that are more relative to everyday life than picking something up, number one. And number two, just the amount of muscles that we're actually working. If we do a deadlift properly and we're fully engaged, locked in, you know, through the elbows and locking the lats and you know, squeezing that melon and big breath in, from the head to the toe, essentially, we're locked in. We're working as one piece. And I think that that's one of the more important things for somebody like me who wants to get efficiency through my workouts. You know, although I'm in the gym all the time, I'm not training as often as, as maybe I would like to. So focusing on the exercises that are gonna give me the most bang for my buck, um, deadlifts is at or near the top of the list for me. So. Again, I wouldn't focus on pushing the weight. You know, I'm not worried about increasing an extra 10 kg or 20 kg on my deadlift. I'm more so focused on being able to lift a decent amount of weight uh, comfortably without pain. Um, and that's my target. That's why I can continue to do it. Again, I'm not trying to push, push, push the weight uh, because then I guess, you know, the risk factor would be higher than the reward. But staying consistent with it, being comfortable, being confident, um, and you know, if it's something that you're worried about mentally, start super light. Start super light. Start with the, a raised bar. Start with uh, dumbbells instead of a barbell. Um, start light, and that's my take on deadlift. So again, it's not necessarily good or bad. I think it's very much about who you are. What are your goals? And if you are someone like me, training for general fitness and wants to feel strong and mobile in my day-to-day -day life, I think deadlifts are great. So that's all for deadlifts.